All right, fam, I'm going to try to do this real fast because this is just, this is during my lunch break. I'm doing this during my lunch break. So one of the things that I haven't seen yet, uh, people are making really cool tutorials on the, the new 5.4 stuff. Some I've only skimmed, so sorry if this is re repetition. But one of the things that I wanted to show was the Fusion Sampler um, and MIDI uh, interactions with the Fusion Sampler in MetaSounds. What's the Fusion Sampler? Fusion Sampler is basically a simple uh, multi-sample uh, instru instrument um, that shows up as a node that you can play in MetaSounds, uh, but it requires a MIDI stream input and so and some other stuff. So, um, uh, w w I'll talk a little bit about how you can do that without um, actually writing uh, a MIDI file and, or importing it. Though we do support importing MIDI files now, um, but you don't need to go out of the engine to author some MIDI data, some simple MIDI data, and I'll show you how to do that. So just real quick here, I have, oh, this is the other thing that I wanted to show was creating your own fusion patch. So here I have some samples. These are synth drum samples that I've used a bunch in demonstrations. Um, they are uh, from an analog drum synthesizer that I have that is uh, German made. And uh, It's got a nice um, kick type or tom type drum sound. And then I also like its clap. I think the clap's real nice. Snare leaves a little something to be desired, but it's full analog. So you know how it goes. Anyway, so what we want to do is I'm going to select all these. See, I've, I've enumerated them. This helps me uh, just order them uh, inside the uh, patch system. But if you right click, you can say create fusion patch. By the way, uh, this is all inside the harmonics plugin. So if this is the first time you're hearing about this, you'll have to activate the harmonics plugin in your plugin directory. So this is the fusion patch sort of like bu wizard builder wizard or whatever. And this actually shows you how the samples are being distributed across the key regions. Um, the, so I'm going to change my name of the patch to simply German synth patch. Um, index order is fine. I'm going to do single note for the key zone layout. I'm going to go no scale. Um, that's fine. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure my minimum note is 60. And uh, up to I have you see I have eight samples here. So I'm going to go 68. So then I have a zero to 67. And basically what I'm just trying to do here is set e each uh, sample up on its own um, MIDI pitch value. Uh, if yours, you know, looks like this, you know, th one of the things, this is like a very common, because uh, I've done this a couple times. This is a common like uh, default value. So you'll see like, you know, uh, uh, notes being distributed across like, you know, multiple uh, values, multiple pitches. That's not what I want. I, I want uh, I want single note per key zone. Each sample is a key zone. And, uh, and I want to make sure that I'm going from literally just making sure that uh, the notes are right next to each other. So I'm just I'm just shrinking my uh, total uh, range to literally just as many uh, notes as I have key zones. So hitting OK, and then there I go. I got my Fusion Sampler patch. Um, and uh, I can open it up. And you'll see a bunch of options here. One of the ones that I want to I want to set is um, uh, I'm going to make the hi-hat closed be pitch 70, and then I'm going to actually adjust its note range from 70 to 70. There we go. 
also actually technically it's unpitched all these are drums so they're they're mostly unpitched but what i want to do actually is set the range to 100 here on the velocity range and then on hi-hat open i'm going to make it the same root pitch and pitch key range. So this means that these two samples, the closed hi-hat and the open hi-hat will, will share the same key zone, except that they won't share the same velocity range. And we're gonna make this one start at 101. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is take the tom, which starts at 65, and then I'm just going to bring it up to 69. So this will let me do like um, some pitch toms uh, across the key range from uh, note 65 to 69. So I get like, you know, four pitch toms and uh, we're good to go. Now uh, I'm going to create a uh, meta sound source. Call it my oh, MSS, my drum synth. Uh, and uh, before I get into that, I'm also going to create a, you'll notice a new subcategory called harmonics, sorry, harmonics, with a MIDI step sequence. And we'll call it my, my drum sequence. And we'll also double click that and I'll just maximize these so we can sort of look at both of these. So uh, right away, if we look at the sequence, it's basically a simple pattern editor. Um, but what we'll do is, so we've got columns, which represent um, basically uh, steps. And then the rows are uh, uh, your, your, um, either note or velocity divisions. Uh, what I want to do is I want to make sure there are uh, 16 columns so that I can do um, 16th note divisions. And then uh, I had going from 60 to 70, so I'll do 11 rows. Right, because I want 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 5, 6, 9. And actually, you know what I'll do is I'll add another one. We'll go 12. And so this will be, these will both be 70 at the end, right? But we'll make this one um, 90 and this one 105. Okay. Now, on my meta sound, I want to get rid of my one shot interface. We don't care about that. And the first thing I want to do is we'll work backward. Okay. Um, so let's do a uh, fusion sampler. We'll just keep it uh, mono. We'll go directly out. Boop. You got to say boop when you add a new thing. And then we've got our patch, right? Now, there's a bunch of patches that come with it which is all very, very cool, but we want our chum and synth drum. Um, that, that do not ever attempt a German accent. That's just a note for myself. That was not good. Uh, okay. Now we want, uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> we want our step, uh, sequence player. Now, if you've got a MIDI, if you're importing a MIDI file, then you use a MIDI player, Ooh, player, uh, which will intake the same thing. We want to transport a MIDI clock and then the uh, asset. But in this case, we've got a special step sequencer player for playing step sequences, which is cool. 
Now, now the MIDI stream is one of the new, uh, more sample. I wouldn't say sample accurate, but it's it's a high precision um, data stream. So it's it's similar to audio where it's high precision or triggers that are high precision. Um, and then we have uh, we need a uh, trigger to music transport. Uh, so when basically this is transport, if y'all remember, is, is like the pause, play, stop uh, functionality. In our case, we just care about playing, uh, but we could build out a control system. And then we want a MIDI clock uh, generator. Um, and this will take transport input. And so will our player take transport input. Cool. Boop. Gotta say boop. All right. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, and then let's make our tempo variable. That's always fun. Let's give it a healthy range. There we go. Okay. And then our step sequence asset will be my drum sequence. That's what I'm playing. So if I were to, um, oh, and by the way, make sure this step size quarter note is quarter. In other words, the step size default might be like, if it's one, then a step size, then a step is a quarter note. If it's 0.25, then a step, then a step is a quarter of a quarter note. In our, in our words, 16th note. And in British words, something ridiculous. Um, so 60 is my kick drum, if we recall. So let's do a little four on the uh, floor. Right? Now we're cooking. Okay. So um, let's add a, uh, I think 62 was the small clap. And then um, we had closed. Uh, closed, we do something like that. Closed, closed, open, closed, closed, open for a cheesy. All right, now we got some beats. Very nice. Okay, so then what we could do is we could do a, uh, we could add a uh, page. Let's have two pages. And uh, if we go to the next page, you know, keep our four on the floor. Do, 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 do. But then we could do something like something like that. And then what we want to do is we want to um, uh, we want to auto page. Boop. Calculate the page of the step sequence based on the current position. I think that will just. Right now we got some stuff going on, you know, and then we could do uh, four pages and have like, you know, do our like basically the same uh, um, as the uh, first page. Not actually what I just said, but. Um, you know, and then we could do like, let's say, um, bum, bum, bum. Do, do, do.
Uh, let's do our toms. Remember our toms? Right, 69 to 65, I think, was our. Let's go. Something like that. And then Yeah. Haha, <laughs> there we go. Eat your heart out, Eurovision. Sorry, I've never actually watched Eurovision. Okay, so there you go. Easy peasy. And you've got Essentially MIDI data, uh, a MIDI stream, and it's all inside your... Oh, yeah, and then we've got tempo, right? So we can do... Anyways, go forth, have fun, make your own patches, make your own samples, do the thing. Cheers. <laughs>